Was it a hate crime? Tonight, police are searching for a man who shot a transgender woman. Good to have you with us tonight at 11. That shooting coming inside a mobile gas station at Seven Mile in Greenfield last night about 8 o'clock. Security video capturing quite a struggle between the two before the woman was shot. Jason Colthorpe is there tonight with a picture of the person police are looking for. Exactly. I have been in contact with police all night. As a matter of fact, Kimberly, just getting another update. Uh, but this is a good look at the man they are looking for right now. No arrests as of now. They believe this is the man who started this confrontation and pulled the trigger here at the mobile gas station. They think it all began in the parking lot here and spilled inside. An exchange of words quickly led to a gun drawn and then this scuffle inside a gas station. A woman whose face we've blurred fighting with a man. Police say trying to take the gun away and moments later, the gun went off, shooting her. That woman, 29 years old and transgender. Anytime there's a, a crime against any member of this community, it's, it's tragic. And certainly this community wants to know, was it hate crime? You know, what is it? Here's a better look at the man in the video. Right now, police don't know if the original altercation had anything to do with her gender. It's too early to tell and certainly want to get into it. Um, once we have more information, uh, we're going to rely on this community to help us. Hey, get on your Detroit everything. Hey, I'm on my Detroit everything. Coincidentally, the chief was at an LGBT community chat and candlelight vigil tonight at Palmer Park. Few had heard of the shooting, but most would not be surprised if this was a hate crime. Especially if it's like somewhere in this area where transgender women are targeted um, as a hate crime. And for her to fight back, and I'm very proud of her. I'm glad she's still here. And she is still here, I'm told by police. The victim in this case has non-life-threatening injuries, although I got to tell you, just 30 seconds before we went on air, that victim's grandmother was here at the gas station, very tearful, and told me her family has not been able to locate her uh, until now, they're still looking for her. So that uh, does kind of shake things up, make it more worrisome. Uh, police also have another clue in this. The guy who they believe pulled the trigger, take a look. This is the car they believe he got away in. It's a black SUV, it's a Ford, looks like an Explorer. There's two different angles there. Police asking if you recognize this vehicle or recognize the man in the story, in this video, give them a call. Kimberly? So, Jason, you can kind of make out the, the license plate in one of those photos. Police having any luck with that? At, no, no luck in that uh, as of right now. A little too blurry. They couldn't enhance that. Oh. But uh, in talking to the chief tonight, he said, he goes, you know, this is where our partnership comes in handy. Putting this picture out there tonight, they really expect to get some hits and yeah. hopefully some good tips and get this guy in custody. Certainly. Back hopefully somebody knows something and speaks up. Okay, Jason.